welcome back. Uh, our next guests are from Maverick Restoration. We have Sean Kelly and Tim Ertzinger. Mm -hmm. Guys, thanks for being here. Um, Thank you for having us. Sure, welcome to uh, the Brunswick Chamber of Commerce as well. I think you said you're newer members. We are new members. I always appreciate the entrepreneurial spirit. What, what motivated you to get started in, in, in business and, and uh, along with Tim as well? Well, we um, actually are a fairly new business. Um, we started in uh, September of uh, 2011. Mm. Uh, we're a new company, but we're not new to the business. Mm -hmm. And um, what uh, we offer at Maverick is our management staff compiles over 75 years of experience, combined experience of our managers, as well as close to $200 million in projects That's that great. our guys have seen That's great. Uh, over the years. So um, what we've tried to do at Maverick is bring guys um, together who have a uh, uh, just wealth of construction knowledge and um, bringing it into the restoration business. Tim, how about you? How did you uh, get involved? Um, I was involved. Uh, I've always been doing construction work, and then I went to work for a national restoration company, and that's where I met Sean. Okay. And the two of us just kind of hit it off and decided we wanted to go out on our own and Great. You know, was take it, a, it to the next level. Was it hard to make that decision to do your own thing, or were you ready at that time? Uh, you, you know, I, I'd have to say uh, a year ago, we were probably kicking around the idea, but uh, to actually um, take the steps to start the business, uh, it takes a little bit of time and effort and, and thought. Sure. Um, but uh, having worked for uh, different companies and realizing what we liked and what we didn't like, and, and, and having a group of guys who really wanted to um, stay together and come together to create something you know, for ourselves, that's really you know, what we decided to do. You know, I looked on your website and a lot of good stuff about customer service and how you really want to be uh, a partner or one with the customer. Can you talk a little bit about that and how important it is to you? Well, I, um, going all the way back when I started in construction, which is about 20 years ago now, I had a, a boss who said to me, um, you, if you want to be successful in life, you need to find a way to solve people's problems. Hmm. And uh, through the years of doing different um, jobs in different construction companies and um, just realized that um, in this business um, I, I don't I can't think of anything else where we're uh, you know almost at the the peak of helping people when they have a problem and that's interesting because you not only focus on the problems but you also do some of the pre problem like planning can you t tell us like wh what would a customer need from you or what's the ideal customer look like well, um, for us, the, uh, the ideal customer is someone that uh, owns uh, several properties. Uh, we do a lot of commercial work or focus more on commercial, although all of the guys that we have, um, we all have, we have a wide range of construction experience, and that's from residential to commercial work. Um, right now, a lot the customers that we have are more commercial owners. Um, we do a little bit of residential, um, but our commercial owners are people that um, own several properties, and they might be office complexes, hotels, um, apartment complexes, and um, you know, senior living centers, uh, things along those lines. And some of the things or some of the reasons that people would contact you as far as um, restoration would be flood or disaster, um, high winds, hail, I know we had some damage, something like that, is that what? Yes, that's correct. And, um, you know, we're not dealing with a glamorous business here, and we're usually dealing with, um, um, you know, someone's misfortunes. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we want to let people know is, is that we're here to, to help them, that we, we have compiled the, the, the people with the experience and the knowledge um, to be able to help them get back to business or their home operational, um, after they've had a disaster. And, and that's probably when they need it most, when they're down and, and mm -hmm. they have some issues. Uh, the planning process, you would encourage, I'm sure, before anything happens, you know, put a plan together and you can Correct. help with that as well, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Tim, tell us a little bit about what kind of planning you would have to do. We can come in and we can uh, set up a plan of who they need to call, um, where, you know, pre-plan what utilities need to be shut off, uh, what kind of disaster it is, 
I mean, uh, pretty much all that kind of stuff. And it's now, always probably a little bit less expensive to do that ahead of time. Yeah, it saves worry a lot. About it, later. it saves a lot of stuff, you know, from getting destroyed that we can save. You know, a lot of furniture that we can save, that kind of stuff. Great. When it, when we um, do make a response, time is of the essence, and um, knowing where uh, utility shutoffs are and things like that, and and you know, really first and foremost, we encourage all of our customers to make sure that um, you know their their safety their people's safety you know the occupants of the building safety um, is first and foremost That's great mm -hmm. well we're all uh, glad that you're part of the Brunswick and Medina County community we're glad that you're in the Brunswick Chamber and glad that you had an opportunity to stop by and meet with us today um, so thank you both very much and good luck with your business. Thank you. Um, we'll be back uh, right after this in just a few minutes with our next guest.